Alright guys, so today I am going to be doing another Bolo 411 video and this time around we're going to focus a little bit on Starbucks. So Starbucks is one of those categories that I personally enjoy. I like picking up Starbucks items. <laughs> mainly because I do have a slight collection myself, but I also like reselling it. Um, not every Starbucks piece, and this is with everything, no matter what you're selling, not all of it is worth a whole lot, uh, but it does tend to sell. There are collectors, and there are some hardcore collectors out there for Starbucks items. Now, the one thing that I kind of noticed while I was gathering all of this information together uh, for this Bolo 411 video was that it seems like Starbucks tumblers, like the big cups, um, sell for way more money than the coffee cups do. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Obviously there are some coffee cups that do sell pretty decently, um, but for the most part, it seems like the higher priced items tend to be the tumblers as opposed to the coffee mugs. Um, now every time I do one of these Bolo 411 videos, I obviously don't go over absolutely everything. Um, just don't have the time and I like to keep these videos, you know, under 10 minutes. Um, but as far as the, um, what I'm sh gonna share with you in this video, it's mainly the drinkware, like the cups and stuff like that. There are other things um, that do sell very high with Starbucks and you know, I may revisit other areas of these um, videos as time goes on, but I just kind of wanted to do one completely designated to Starbucks because, I mean, I come across Starbucks items pretty frequently, mugs, tumblers, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know what all is out there, but with this Bolo 411, there's a couple that keep your eyes peeled for these. Now, what are the chances of you finding one of these? I mean, who knows? You just never know as far as what you're gonna come across each time you go out sourcing, wherever you're sourcing. So the first thing that I have to share is in fact a tumbler. This one is a zebra tumbler. I mean, to me, it's not much to it. It's just, you know, your, your average black and white zebra print, nothing too, too exciting, you would think, but apparently this one is very, very desirable. This one here tends to sell between three to four hundred dollars, uh, which is just, it's insane. It's insane for just a simple piece of drinkware, but that's just how... <laughs> how things are when there are collectors involved and they want, you know, every piece or everything. So definitely keep your eye out for this zebra tumbler. I feel like this is something that you would potentially just easily find because it's not anything super crazy, super colorful or anything that's really stand out to me anyway. Now this next item is a coffee mug, but this one's pretty standout. This here came out in 2016, this coffee mug. It is a whopping 138 ounce coffee mug. So this thing is huge. You can see in the picture, um, there are two listings where there's like a normal standard sized coffee mug sat beside this thing. So it's ginormous. So if you ever would see it, it it's kind of like a, oh goodness, what is this? Like I gotta pick this up because it's just so unique kind of thing. Uh, but this here, it seems to be selling between four and $500, this ginormous Starbucks <laughs> coffee mug. So this one might be a little bit harder to find, but still like <laughs> amazing, amazing prices for this huge mug. Uh, okay, so next is another tumbler. This one has beetles all over it, like the bug, the insect, um, not the not the group, <laughs> um, just a beetle print. 
these were selling between 200 to 300 dollars so definitely another you know just printed one to look out for i think this one is a little cooler than the zebra print but um you know still just just a drinking tumbler just a drinking tumbler 300 dollars i just can't imagine spending that amount on something that i'm gonna drink out of but anyway next one is another tumbler this is this one's really pretty and again though i don't feel like it's anything too crazy so you know may stumble across it at you know a thrift store or a yard sale or anything like that someone just had it in their cupboard and was like you know what i don't reach for this anymore i'm just gonna sell it or donate it it's a pink pink tumbler very pretty nicely colored it has like a palm leaf and pine cone kind of print on it these were selling between two to three hundred dollars so definitely another one to look out for that i feel like wouldn't be too too hard to find unless you know the, the person who owns it knows its value type of thing but most people when they go to like donate something or put it out in the yard sale they're not looking on ebay first you know what i mean so there's always a chance that you'll come across these things next item is also another tumbler that seems to sell really well this one is black and white and has an emoji print on so definitely one that i feel like would stand out um slightly more than others these were selling between 200 to 300 dollars which is really good you know what i'm saying so definitely another one to keep an eye out for we also have this one is more like a ceramic style tumbler not a plastic tumbler these other ones were pretty well you know the plastic versions with the straws this one is more of like the ceramic version that would have the lid that you know would slide open like the mouthpiece would slide open and shut this one here has kind of like a tattoo style print all over it um there were different versions of this but i mean regardless i would definitely pick these up no matter you know what version you find because i think you'd be able to sell it uh regardless but these specific this specific version here was selling between 70 to 100 dollars and then the last one that i'm really going to share with you um on this bolo 411 video is a studded rose gold tumbler so this again is one of the plastic ones with the straws there's all kinds of colors and versions of these out there um, but this one here specifically is rose gold in color and it seems like these are selling for approximately $200 which again is just amazing. Now one thing that I also want to say about these and about any Bolo 411 video that you may see from me, I'm making this video in the year 2021 so what things are selling for right now within this year doesn't mean that that's going to carry over into the next year so say someone's watching this video and it's 2023 um prices probably changed on these things so what sells now for say a hundred dollars next year might sell for twenty dollars next year it might sell for five hundred dollars there's just no saying day to day week to week month to month year to year exactly how much something is going to be worth because prices fluctuate with absolutely everything i know at one point i had the black the matte black starbucks studded tumblers i had two of them i bought one for myself and one to sell and they were selling really high at the time uh, but nowadays you can get them fairly cheaply but at the time they were selling at very high prices so it just it goes to show you that with any kind of bolo um what is selling at a high price right now doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna sell for that 
down the road. So I just kind of wanted to, I mean, most of you guys know that, but just in case there's anyone who, you know, come next year finds one of these items and looks it up and it was like, well, that's not true. This only sells for $30. You know what I mean? Just because things change so incredibly often. So I'm just going by the right here and right now type of prices um, for these things. So that's it for this Starbucks one. Like I said, it was mainly just going to be the drinkware, but there's obviously other things within the Starbucks category that sell very, very well. Uh, so I hope, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, I'm always open to suggestions for other ones. There are so many things to go over. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.